But just making a little video here of the, I guess, damage to my foamy that happened because I made it a pop up. Um, foamies work well when you have all sides closed or it's an actual box. But on mine, the uh, this top half lifts up, and yeah, it's two open boxes. The inner box is open at the top, all the way around, and uh, the outer box is open on the bottom, all the way around. So you get a lot of flex. So back here has the most flex. So you can see the paint's cracked all over here. Lots of little cracks that way. The other side, same thing. Loads of little cracks. So I presume that's gonna let water in somewhere. I don't know how deep the cracks are, but all the way out to here to there and then the other stress point is where I put the wood in the middle there'd be a joint here so it's kind of bulged up and um, cracked there a few other little cracks down the side a little ways um, then at the front, both sides in the front here, there's a crack, if I can get the focus, right across here. Um, yeah, there's other little ones too. I don't know why my phone doesn't want to focus, sorry. Um, so. Lots of cracked paint on the outside, which isn't good. That's from having wood in here and all the flexing. I don't know if it'd be worse with uh, just straight foam or better. Um, then the inside, I had just plug the light in. Here's the one side on the inside. I have a vertical support right there because I didn't know if I'd be able to hold the top half up with just with four posts. So I put a vertical piece of wood in here and right there, sort of the middle of the trailer, that's where the most flex is in the walls, right in the middle. So it cracks there. And this side got bad enough that it's split wide open. Um, should I have taken a video with it up, but I just put a brace across it. And that's just from the wall flexing in and out. This is 8 ounce canvas I use and I just split it right through. You could see daylight through it before when it was up. Um, but that's all on the inside. So. That's just why I wouldn't recommend making a pop-up foamy with wood and foam. Because with the open bottom, you get flex as you're driving. On the inside with the open top, you also get flex. You can see my cabinets in there should have held it more rigid, but um, wasn't enough. So, I don't think you could make a pop-up. Well, you could probably make a pop-up without using any wood. But the way I supported the top half once it was up was with posts in all four corners. Now, each corner got a post. So I have a, you can see now that the dew's settling, those squares. There's a square here. I put a square here and a square here of wood for the post to rest up against from the inside. 
and that rests on top of the top half, which is a two by two frame. And there's ribs here, just in case we got a snow load on it. Um, anyway, that's where the posts sit, and it's two by two framing all the way around and down across the bottom and up. Same thing on the inside, it's two by two framing with the foam in between. So if you could somehow do it without any wood, it might work, because it'd be lighter and it wouldn't flex as much, but I'm not sure. You'd have to try it.